Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And I'm still here in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm super excited because I'm bringing you another innovative and mind-blowing episode. I get super excited when I see Africans doing something to change the narratives of Africa because this is the journey that I am on. Hmm. See what is what I'm holding today? I hardly use these things, but since this is made in Kenya, I mean, proud African. <laughs> oh, I put it in my eyes, cheese. <laughs> but since I'm a proud African, I only support things that are made in Africa by Africans. And you know what? This is made by a young Kenyan. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness, you know what? Come with me, the way I'm so excited, I need to introduce you to this amazing gentleman. But hey, do me a favor, when I bring episodes like this, all you need to do is to stop whatever you're doing, click on the like button, share the video, and if today's your first time seeing this annoying, energetic boy on your screen, my name is Wadamaya, and subscribe, and be part of this awesome family. Come with me, let's go meet this amazing gentleman. You know what, I'm super excited, like, made in Africa. Oh, it's supposed to be spread on the body, not the hair. Oh my god, I, I sprayed my eyes, man. Tony! Yay! Tony Iro! Welcome! Man! How are you? I'm great! I've been waiting for you. Oh, really? Yes, we man, have really I, been waiting I, I, I'm for you. so excited to see you I'm, today. I'm more excited to meet you. How? Let me tell you. You're the big guy. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm no, not looking no, for no, you. no, no, you're the one looking for me, but if you're able to do this, I think you will be on top of my channel. I'm telling you. Because on I, your channel, I'm, I feel honored to be interviewed there. Have you seen the guys you are interviewing? Tony. I'm a small guy there, uh, but uh, I'll be big <laughs> after this. <laughs> Definitely, I'm Tony. I mean, I want to sit somewhere or you want to take me around. Yes, I want to take you around. You, you want to take me around? Yes, I have to. I have to. So that so you can believe it. Where, where are we now? Where are we now? We are in the Solaria, Nairobi, uh -huh. at the factory, where everything is done here. Tony, yes. we are in the factory. Yes. But you own this factory? Yes. You I own, own it? Yes. But Tony, everyone is telling me that you are a hair guru. You make women hair. And I'm telling you. I will now. never bring my girlfriend to I'm you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll never do that. You should. You should. When people tell you he's a guru, you should. Tony, you yes. need to tell me who you are yeah. before you take me a run of right. what you've done. Okay. Do you want to stay somewhere or you want to say here? Uh, let's start from here before I take you in. What okay. You Feel free. My name is Tony Airo. Uh -huh. I'm an African. I'm a manufacturer in Kenya, and I want to supply the entire Africa with our products. Uh, Ma is one of my friends. I, I see him on Facebook, and I'm on Facebook and YouTube, and this is an opportunity for me to talk about what I do, because I've been admiring. I mean, if he's interviewing the president, who am I? Tony, welcome. thank you so much. You're welcome. Sir. Come. <laughs> All right, OK. Thank you. Yeah. So, Maya, this is uh, our work area. I have our people working here. Mm. So that they are the people who are making the warashi big, not me. These are the people who make warashi big. They make everything I'm just the I'm, I'm just the, the brain. But without them, I'm not here. All right? So these are my special people. I mean, this is my family. This is your family. This is my Patone, family. you need to tell me yes. who you are. Okay. I mean, where you started from. Were you born right. and raised in Nairobi? No, 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 no. I was not born and raised. I wish I was born and raised in Nairobi. I think I'll be better. <laughs> Whoa, you born? <laughs> no, I was born, I was born in Nakuru, uh, a place called uh, Shauriako. Mm. Then we lived and I, I, I was, you know, I was brought up in a place called Shabab as a very humble um, kid. Uh, I was raised by my, my mother mm. and... Uh, he has made me what I am today. You were raised by your mother? Yes. And then what brought you to Nairobi? Uh, I came to Nairobi when I was coming to college. That's the first time I landed in Nairobi. Okay. I, I, you know, I used to be told about Nairobi. And you see when you are, you are up in, the, uh, in Nakuru there, you're told about Nairobi. I have an uncle in Nairobi. You know, you'd wish to also have an uncle in Nairobi, Nairobi. But we didn't have an uncle in Nairobi. But when I came to college, my mom got the college for me. I used to say I want to do hairdressing, hairdressing, but I, I never knew what to do. You know, how do I apply? You know, when you're in high school, you just say you want to do this. And so my mom got the college for me. And actually, I was selling second-hand clothes before I came in here oh. to college. And, you know, I came in and I started this, you know. She told me to, to, to go to Nairobi 
And I was like, mom, how do I go to Nairobi? You will land in Nairobi, you will um, find a place, this is the school, this is the school, and you have to come back. So you came to Nairobi to learn how to... To do hair. hair. I was going for a hair, a hair college. That is what brought me here. Nairobi, oh, yes. And from hair? So I started hair, hair, and the hair name was big, the hair name was big, and uh, I, started, I said, let, let me try my product. Can I, can I try? You know, and I started. You're using people's products? I was, to, I was buying hair. another brand. I, I was using people's product, and then I realized I can also do my own product because people started believing that if I tell them this product is good, mm. then they can use it and it will work. So I said, let me take the advantage. Yes. So everything that you're using to make hair right now, it's all your own product? Their own, our own products. Tony, this is fantastic. Can you tell Thank me you. some of the product that you make? We have a lot of products, but I'll just mention, you know, the, 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 the main product. We mm. have basically everything for hair. We have shampoo, we have conditioner, we have treatment, we have oils, we have uh, shower cups, we have uh, sleeping cups, we have uh, perfumes. Uh, made in Kenya, we have body splash made in Kenya, we have age control made in Kenya. Those are some of the things we are doing. You are more like now a cosmetic manufacturer. Exactly. In fact, I think I need to change that name after your interview that I'm a cosmetic <laughs> manufacturer. manufacturer. You know, just not a manufacturer. Oh, yes, yes. Incredible. Thank you. Tony. Yes. You had a passion for making hair. Yeah. But right now, you're doing something else, making your own product. Yes. I just want to know, what is the inspiration behind it? What really motivated you to do something like this? All right. First, if I, if I take it a little bit far, is when I visited the United States of America the first time, uh, as an African, you know, when you go to the States, you, you, are, you want to do something and then come back. Your visa is probably six months and say, can I do something and then go back? So I started going to salons in New York and uh, uh, I was looking for work. Of course, they'll ask you, do you have a license? Do you, you say, I just want something to do under the table. And you know, you'd show them pictures of what you've done. And uh, you know, the newspaper, I used to write for the newspaper for a long time, and they would ask you, do you have your own product? So that one kept inspiring me because every salon I would go, they would ask me about, do you have your own brand? So I thought, wow, so whatever I'm doing back home, I need to be having my own, but where do I start? But you see, when you start like that is when you come back home and you start doing things. Because I'm a go-getter. Mm. If I want something, I, I go for it until I feel like this is not working. Then I say, oh, I tried until the end. I just don't dream and then sit and say, oh, it will come. No, it never comes to you. You have to work hard and do it. So I started looking for people who can do manufacturing for me because I don't have, you know, a, a place to manufacture. So contract manufacturing, it was also very hard. So what did I do? I used to buy a brand and put it in a container and decant it and you know tell people it's my own. <laughs> and guys will like me. There are people who will say, "Wow, that is good." There are people who will say, "I don't like." You know, I, I even I lost clients in the salon because when I started my own brand. People kept saying, "Oh, do you still go there?" You know, I eat a lot. I, you know, it's a mentality. But the same brand that you used to, use, I used to use on your hair is the one I'm using now, but in a different container. So you'd feel like you're itching, you're, you know, that mentality that something is not good if it's done home. And I, I kept saying, whatever is so difficult in doing this thing, that's why I really want to do it. Because why are people saying it can't? And it can. If there is hope, you can always do something. You have life, you have hope. So I started doing that, you know, and the people who encouraged me, the people who kept saying, if you're doing hair and you have your own product, you must be doing a good job because there's no manufacturer in Africa, if I can say, who is a hairdresser and a manufacturer. So you're the first one. I'm the first one. That means even, even when I was starting the product, I wanted to hide my name because I didn't know the results. So I said, if it doesn't work, people will not know it's me. But I met people who told me, if you don't trust what you make, who's going to trust it? And that's why all those products have my name. But Tony, this yeah. does not have your name. This has my kid's name. If my kids are there, I'm there, isn't it? Okay. The Warashi is Waidera Rabet Aching. Mm. Those are my girls. And that's why I put this name Warashi. All right. In Swahili, a perfume is Marashi. Marashi, only M, now the W goes and M. Mm. And a lot of people think it was Marashi, and then, and then I changed it to Warashi, but and today you know, Warashi are my kids. Yes, Ooh. so you can call me Baba Warashi. Baba Warashi. Warashi exactly. <laughs> Instead of each name, each name, all right? Yeah. Can you show us the process? Like? Yes, I can show you the process, okay. 
Uh, we have um, the machine that we use here. Mm. It is, uh, you know, it's a, it's for a starter. It's not very big, as, mm. but it's still working. And I know, Maya, if you come here after six months, probably because of this interview, I'll be I'll be having the one ton thing. Yeah. So we process it here. Everything we put it here. It cools here. We give it twenty one days to mature very well because you know the perfume that we make from africa is made for africans africans wants a perfume that lasts exactly. not the 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 one six minute. hours the one hour thing this will last after the process of here we mix everything here you know under tight wherever there's no moisture to go in it's very tight it stays here for 21 days after this we we take it here we put it here because you know we used to use the manual things you know like you know like mm. pressing it like tomato sauce there yeah. but now we have advanced god has you know blessed us with this machine we put it there and then the guy put it here what this helps is it is faster and there's no spillage in perfume when you spill even 10 grams it's a loss how many liters do you make in a like uh we make 300 now we are we are to 300 liters which we sell probably now we have started selling maybe in two months it's done and then we do another one and I'm sure we're gonna to get to a ton. You know what? Yes. I have a platform where we support made in Africa business. Exactly. So I think this place is too small for you. Yes. After this video, you know it's it's by force. I'm not gonna say please no. support Warachi. It's by force. Um, you. I mean I'm gonna put your numbers and everything. Exactly. We're gonna do wholesale. Yes. And let me know because I need to get my car. You will get your car, I'm, I'm telling you. Now from the Warashi, uh -huh. we, we have others, you know. Okay. The Warashi more is more of men. Okay. And then we have also Warashi Kiss. Mm. This is Warashi Kiss, this is Warashi Gold. All right? So these are the two. And then uh, we have the ones that we started with. We have, um, we have Warashi Spark and we have Warashi Attraction. Spark is more of men, attraction is more of women. And these are the boxes. You know, if you go to our website, you'll get them. You know, this is Warashi Spark, and this is Warashi Gold. These are, these are what started. Those people who started supporting our perfume started with this, this one. one. Yes. And then after that, you know, we, we had to di diversify and, you know, cater for everyone. Because mm. you see, this is like $10, uh, $25. And, you know, this is, you have to cater for everyone. We came with uh, body splashes for the same scent. You know, we have attraction, we have gold. These bodies are normally slightly cheaper, you know, for you want to smell good and you don't want to spend so much. Yes, body splash don't last long. But for Africa, this stays like four hours. You're good to go for this one. It's also very good. And you can put it in the bag. You can travel with it. You can spray it wherever you want to spray it. You have a, a meeting, you know, you can always spray it. So we, I took care of everyone. After doing the warashi, now, you know, the perfume, we had to take something else, you know, like, we had to do the lotion, the warashi lotion. We did everything here. Exactly. Everything is done here. Look, look, look at the package. Look, and the consistency, not only the consistency, and the moisture. I mean, I'm going to, I'm a yeah. village boy, I didn't really use cream this morning. <laughs> yeah, I just and you have to use it. From the bathroom, yes. I'm in your office. Oh, yeah. I don't even know how to open it. <laughs> we showed that I'm really a village boy, man. Okay. Yes. Did you uh -huh. get cocoa from Ghana? From Ghana. <laughs> oh my god. I'm goodness. telling you. Hey, please, oh. I need I need ten of this. You will have because I, I, I think we need to give your Facebook, uh, your, your 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 YouTubers, the, the most YouTubers we will we'll give them. Yeah, everybody. Yes, everybody you will give them. You need to support Warachi. Exactly. Warachi gold, Warachi diamond, I like, Warachi I, I, bauxite. We will support everything. Everything. I like everything. the way you have smelled it and oh, know it's from Ghana. It's from Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I want to know, yeah? yeah, do you have any aim or goal to expand this whole factory? Because, you know, the whole Africa will be coming in here. I'm telling you, I have a plan and I'd want to show you. I know I know you're busy, mm -hmm. your schedule is busy, but can I take you just only for five minutes or Why less? Not? We go and see what I'm doing and I want to expand. But the next time you're coming, I have a pressure of showing you this is what I've done. Can I take you? Of course. Thank you. Maya, uh -huh. and this is the new place. Oh, really? Yeah, this is the uh, place that I just acquired like three months ago. Uh, and we are still working on it. it. It used to be a garage, as you can see. It was a garage and we are trying to clear everything that was here because the owner is supposed to come out and I'm supposed to go in. And I like the fact that you have agreed to come to this place that is not finished. Whoa. All so right. this is the new manufacturing. This is going to be the new manufacturing Tony, because... Tony, Tony, Tony. 
I, I, I don't understand what's going on. Yeah. You started from being a hairstylist. Yes. From there, you gave birth to that one. The factory. And now, this we are is taking, huge. This is big, and this one we're going to take even, even higher, and you know, we're going can to you, do please, other can things. Can I ask you this question? Please ask. Is somebody funding you? Or Not is... yet. If somebody funds me, Maya will be very far. That's why I need that funding I'm talking about. No funding so far. So where did you get the money from? Savings. From? From the factory. You see, it's the salon, the factory, and now the factory is giving you, you, back you to You started this. a salon without yes. having the factory. So you mean the money from the salon gave birth to, to the... To the first fa factory. This is the second factory that I'm working on now. Tony. Yeah. I think I believe in you. Please do. For what you've done, yes. I think more people need to support you. Okay. Tony, do you need sponsors? Or do I you need totally investors? Need, I need investors and I need African investors. Please, Africans. Yeah, I, I, I've seen what he has done. I was in the saloon. I've been to the first factory. factory. And this one is huge. And yes. please, if you really want to invest, I'll put his email there. Uh, Contact him directly. No betweener. You're going to talk to him directly. directly. And you can invest in his business, brother. Thank, like, thank take you, me Maya. through this one. and let, let, Please let, come. Oh, my come. goodness. I'm impressed, bro. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. So, uh, Maya, no, so far we just brought in, like, very small things here and there. Uh... This is how the factory is going to be a setup, you know, just a little bit of savings and here and there I have a big plan uh, uh, and I'm hoping to get a fund so that I can also go bigger, bigger and, bigger. and bigger. So I want to take you just slightly, you see, this is like an office block, this is going to be an office block, we have to work on it. Mm. This is where the, I, I believe in myself, this is where the, the lorries will be coming and, you know, taking the products from here and uh, it's a big place a 40 feet can fit here that place the other place you saw it's a very small place mm. so this is going to be better for me better for the manufacturing better for my workers you know the people i've worked with so uh i'm hoping that in the next six months you're coming back to kenya mm. if you come back here i promise you i will do something tony yes do you believe that africa is the future i believe africa is is not the future Africa is future, now. Africa is now. It's now, not the future, it's now. Future is when? It is now. Our fathers used to say the same thing. Africa is future. Africa is future. No, Africa is now. Tony, you, you started almost everything here. Yes. And I would say that you're almost there. Yes. But most of us want to leave the continent and go abroad. And do, do you think we need to leave? We need to start. We don't need to leave. And I, I will not say don't go to other continent. Just mm. go and learn something from there and come back home. Go to study. You can study. There's no problem as you studied, studied in China. In China yeah? But you're here. Exactly. So it does not mean when you study in China, it's a bad thing. Or mm. you study in the States, it's a bad thing. Or the UK. Mm. It is, it's good. Even here we have people who are from Ghana who are studying here. here. There are people who are from the States. They are studying so here. here. So, but they, when they finish whatever they are studying, they go back to their country. So I tell people, it is okay to study. But bring the knowledge back to Africa. So Africa is now, not the future. It is now. I mean, spy, Tony. Yes. But if you had a chance to change something in Africa, what would it be? I'll change the mindset of Africans. We can do our own. We can do our own here. Whoa. You see? I'm even feeling this thing that we are doing, the interview in mm. an English. We should be doing it in, in one Swahili. language, in Swahili. You know, we are doing it in English and, you know, there's a time I promised my mom, this is funny, out of topic. I told my mom one day, I'll do an interview in a mother tongue and they'll translate down there and it will come. Watch me. I'll talk in mother tongue and they'll translate in that language. Your want. message for young African entrepreneurs. I can tell you one thing for fact. Hard work, dedication, focus. Most of the young people, most of the entrepreneurs who wants to be entrepreneurs they want to make it big like this it can never and it's not sweet it is sweeter when you start from there and you see your sweat but you want to make today you want to be big today and sometimes i think a lot of people you know social media will lie to you mm. you will see our local celebrity musicians you know and they're driving big cars sometimes it's not their cars you just hire for that particular day and you, when you see, you also want to buy the same thing. So I think consistency, patience, and focus is the main thing. And I think I learned this from your former president, mm. who says you have to be consistent in what you do. And you have to trust and you have to have faith in what you do. If you don't trust what you do, like when you met me, I, I was smelling how? Yo. 
I was like, what perfume are you wearing? Exactly. If I'm making perfume and I'm wearing other people's perfume, then I don't believe in my our yes, own. Exactly. Yes. If you come to my house, I'm telling you, everything we make, we use. If it's shower gel, we use our own. Lotion, baby care, everything. I even I feel saw, bad I'm using somebody else's <laughs> roll-on. I, I need to use shower cup that you made for women. Exactly. You see, that's why it's very important to be in the salon still. Because I see where the gaps are. Hmm. People complaining, oh, this shower gel, you know, I just use it for two weeks, it's torn. Where is it from? That country. Now I made something for us. And I saw you are making it is something. It is long-lasting. I saw you making something like a Vaseline. Yes, like it's not even Vaseline, it's called petroleum jelly. Don't call it that name. <laughs> it is called petroleum jelly, made in Kenya. Very good, I'm telling you. And the price, you know when you get things made in Africa, Africa. the prices are not exaggerated. It's the economy we are in right now, you want something that can still work on you, it's a good quality, that is what you need. Yeah, you see? Go, oh. Come, Maya, come. Okay, we are, we, are, we are still working on um, this factory. These are the cages, you know, so we are still using it as a store. We haven't manufactured. You can see here, we are still working on it. The, con uh, the people who are supposed to be here today, they are off duty, they will come. These are cages, just to try and make space for it. Uh, I want to take you upstairs where, you know, now I'm doing, you see, you saw the other place is really yeah, small. Really small yeah. So we are coming here and um, Yes, so it's under construction, as you can see. Uh, we'll be having our productions here. Yeah. Up here, the production will be done. The raw material will be here. Production is done here. You know, we'll put the things that are supposed to mix all these things. And then there's no more, you know, pouring with a jug. Now we have, uh, you can come, I see. We have all these things here. Mm that are going to take the product down oh. there. So all these are done here and, you know, with our local technicians. So it's going to go down there and then I'll take you down there. You see where we'll be doing the package. Now production will be up, packages will be down, there'll be storage. You know, the investors, if they come here, they'll see, you know, I'm using their money well. And I promise you, if you invest in me, you'll be happy. If you invest in him, you will definitely be, be happy. happy. Happy in this. <laughs> happy in my Just not happy in this. It will go, it will come back, I promise you. So the production from up there, it will be coming here. There will be a setup down here of tables. So people will be parking here. And then we'll be having a lab on the other side. And uh, now it will be much better because the other times I normally take my product to other people's lab. Now I'll have my own lab to test my product before they go out to the government lab. Because I am certified mm. with every product that you have seen there, even the perfume, they are certified yeah. with the government lab. I just want to say you're doing an incredible job. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. All Africans will come in here and support you, yeah, thank no you. matter which country they are from. Yes. I just want to say thank you so much for taking me around. Yes. I appreciate your time. Yeah. And hey, if you're watching this video, my name is Mr. Ghana Baby. Don't forget to like the video and share. Let more people get to know Tony Iroh's story because I feel like this story can inspire many out there. Thank you so much. And can I tell you something mm -hmm. before you, you sign off? Okay. Maya, thank you very much for hosting me. I feel very honored to be hosted by you. And I'm promising you, I will not let you down. Thank you so much. Trust me.